to factory cabins, Pilcota UK. And uh, these are going to be some short videos over a, a period of time where I'm going to talk about the cabin industry and about what I think and uh, how I see the cabin industry uh, evolving uh, and how it's developed, if it's developed at all or not a lot or in some industries it has and some industries it hasn't and also pricing because I think pricing is possibly the most important uh, element to you, the customer. For me, quality. It's always about quality. Uh, you know, sadly, uh, I think quality comes first. Um, I would really like you to come to factorycabins.co.uk and when you do, I'd like you to visit the blog. And there's a reason for this. The blog is, uh, is my thoughts since 2013 and uh, which is you know a lot of a lot of writing it actually went on before that but it was on another website and i um, i moved the blog over um uh, if you are aware of this or not i'm i'm also the owner of lord cabin lv as you can see up there and uh and uh, we've been in the industry longer than anyone and also uh we are the uh the, uh, the proud owners uh, of, the, uh, of the, uh, the designs like the camping pods, uh, the clock houses, twin skins uh, and just so many other buildings that have been duplicated by other manufacturers and uh, taken on as their own. But really, um, when you read this blog and you read it through, uh, you'll understand that, you know, most companies are just... Uh, are just fraudulent. Um, uh, if you have a look at this one in particular, um, it's a five by seven 44 mil log cabin. And uh, if you read that this company here has uh, has advertised uh, this cabin, this five by seven, for 13,732.78 pence. Now, what are you to know about if this is good or this is bad? because not many of you know very much about timber. You don't know about windows and doors. You don't know about which kind of machinery is used to manufacture this. You don't know who's manufacturing this. Uh, and you, you, you don't really know much about much. Uh, you only learn when you're told. And uh, a lot of people, which I've found out over the few, few years that I've been in this industry, which is the longest of all, uh, is that most people, they don't really want to know. They just want to pay for it, have it delivered, and use it. And um, and uh, that's uh, that's somewhat stupid when you pay thirteen thousand seven hundred and thirty-two pounds and seventy-eight pence for a building that on my website costs five thousand eight hundred and eighty pounds plus VAT. And um, the reason this uh, this uh, building is somewhat cheaper is not because it's a cheap building because it's not a cheap building. I think it's an expensive building. It's just that these people, this company, this company here, like to take a lot of money off you and they think it's uh, amusing that you're paying this kind of money for a building that's worth this kind of money. And uh, I, I hate to say this, but if you check out the images on this website, and they're using these images, you can see quite clearly. They're, they're actually my images, which were taken from, this is an original one that we made, I don't know, 10, 15 years ago. And uh, they were taken off websites by people fraudulently, and they've been now been put up onto other websites. So this company never did, didn't design this thing, you know, they never had any thought of this cabin. They've got hold of some images, and they put them up on their internet site, They've charged you thirteen thousand seven hundred and thirty pounds and eight pence, and uh, for forty four mil, and uh, we X works for five thousand eight hundred eighty. So, you know, it's just a con. It's a con, and these are the things that you should be asking people. You should be asking people. You know, you know who do we go to? I know it's very difficult to ask a company who you should go to, but you know, unlike most companies. I like to tell the truth, 
Yeah, I'm, I'm very much into telling the truth, even to the point of fact where somebody will phone us up and say, I need a building, and I'll say, no, you don't. You want a brick building because if you put a timber frame up against your house, you'll devalue your house. You know, it, it's, ne it's never about greed. It's about doing the right thing. Yeah, I'm British and, uh, and I think that we, we need to keep our values, yeah? And the values in this industry have gone to the floor because this industry has been taken over by people who sadly have never been, you know, very, uh, very, uh, very truthful from the very, very beginning. Um, and uh, these buildings are made in, in some places that uh, you, is questionable. And also where the timber comes from is questionable. And, uh, and uh, um, we like to talk about this a lot, as you can see, um, you know, our blog will talk about the forests and, you know, what size, you know, for instance, there's 12,120 square miles of forest in Britain, which, which, would, which would tell you really that, you know, you shouldn't be cutting. Not when you, if you think that in Russia, <laughs> there's, <laughs> there's a, there's a, uh, there's a, a huge amount of forest there. It makes us look rather, you know, rather... It, it's like a garden with one tree and a forest next door. And that's, that's the comparison. That's how I would uh, compare the two. Um, and the uh, for, for statistics, I've written it down there for you. That's Russian square miles of forest and that's Britain. So, you know, that's one of the reasons why Boris has uh, stopped the cutting of logs and stopped the cutting of trees and... Uh, you know, which is one of the reasons why. It's because you don't have any, you don't, you don't, you don't have any timber. I mean, you don't have any. People who cut oak, you know, they, they, they should be, um, you should be imprisoned, actually, because your, your last oak was planted by the Victorians. Anyway, let me go down, and then we look at this. And this is what Russia cuts. And you might go, oh, but, you know, this is nothing. All this is nothing. In comparison to the size of the country, which is huge, it's massive. This is just a little bit of cutting, and uh, and believe it or not, Russia has grown uh, in the last thirty years. The, the the actual area of forest grown is twice the size of Spain in forest. If any of you can get your head around that one, it's, uh, Russia is not running out of timber. Russia's got too much because uh, they've actually started growing trees in the, in the areas where they were planting um, vegetables and, and such things, yeah. Um, and uh, as you can see, this blog is about, is about many different topics. And it's definitely worth reading because, you know, you'll learn a lot, you know. And all of this is taken from, uh, from, from different sources that, that, you know, like me. Um, this is from the EIA, yeah. This is about stolen lumber from... Uh, from Russia and, da, da, da. and it's about stolen Russia, stolen timber. It's not about Russia doing something bad. It's about China actually nicking it and uh, running it around the back and then selling it to Canada, who then in turn sell it to America. So you know, yeah. And then down here we've got our doors. Now, our doors are without doubt for our cabins. They're not just the best cabins in the business. They are the best cabins in the business. I actually designed these doors personally. And, um, and I, was, I was fed up. I was fed up. I was fed up of just over the years, just none of the manufacturers, n none of them wanted to change. None of them. None of them wanted to change. They all wanted to, to, to keep the same crap and sell the same crap and, and uh, increase the price monthly, yearly, every year, uh, like uh, Imadesca or Quick Garden Buildings or Dunster House or any of the others that, that, that sell uh, building, uh, windows and doors for their buildings. Uh, they're crap, they're absolute shite, you know? And, uh, and they don't improve because they don't want to spend their profit. The profit is profit, profit is not about it's not about building something nice and then making it better. It's about building a lot of shit, selling it out the door and doing the same again the year after that and the year after that and the year after that. 
And if no one complains, who cares? Just keep on selling it. And uh, and uh, I'm a complete opposite to that. We like to put uh, German hinges. These are German hinges. These are German locks, German keys, German handles, uh, 24 mil glass. We've now changed these uh, these uh, bespoke uh, TNG panels. So this is bespoke. This is my own personal design. Um, we've changed these now to insulated panels. So our Dulam doors, this is all joinery timber as you can see, yeah? Uh, all of our windows and doors now are fully insulated and uh, they can't twist because it's made of joinery timber. And um, as you can see, they're beautiful, they're beautiful. This is the, obviously the inside of a, a twin skin, yeah? But this is the kind of quality we'd be looking for. And it's, it's quality, it's just absolute, absolute quality. And you won't find this on, on here's, a, here's, a, here's a little uh, tickle. This is like a normal hinge from a normal company. And this is like ours. And if you look, it's just standard rubbish. Or the, 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 uh, the, the coating's already coming off their, their cheap Chinese uh, mass-produced crap. And this German one here, this, this uh, underneath this part of the hinge, it allows you to lift it up or down, in or out, you know, almost round and round. So, you know, and yes, these do cost a little bit more, but I want this door to last 20 years, not five or four or three, you know? Because as soon as the, uh, the doors and windows fail, then uh, your, uh, your um, yeah, your cabin's knackered. Now, uh, I put a picture up of uh, Dunster House's windows here, and as you can see, it was like, uh, a reason to opt for our premium windows and doors. And as soon as I put it up, Dunster House took it down <laughs> because they didn't want to be up against their doors or windows because they knew that there was a bit of a difference. And uh, they're, 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 uh, our doors and windows are the best, which is just proven completely, you know, blah. And uh, what I have done here also is I put down a Dunster House, let them check out their windows and doors. As you can see, I'm not gonna, I don't have to say anything, yeah? There's the hinges, you know, this is the kind of quality of door, you know, uh, you know, and if you go down through all these, all these websites, there's another one for you, look at the windows, and, uh, and you can imagine what the doors are like, and uh, another one, uh, and uh, another one, see so that they're just, just, and then when you, and this used to be uh, an amazing company, but now they're actually flat packing the windows and doors, which is really sad. And you know these are the kind of handles you get, and then a lot of companies sell this kind of hinge system. A lot of companies, a lot of companies, yeah. And this is crap, absolute shit. And I know that you know I know that you don't understand this, but this is absolute rubbish. And this window is worth about thirty euros, and they will charge you for this window about a hundred the manufacturers so they'll stick these in there in their in their cabins and they'll charge you about 100 euros for them and, be, and they're not worth that they're just not worth it they're worth 30 maybe 20 euros yeah and uh, look look at the hinges it's just rubbish absolute rubbish i mean look, this one wasn't even cut in properly and over the years we've visited mills and uh, we've seen how they uh, if you look this knot a huge knot and then if you look at our windows, you'll see that we don't put up with things like that into our buildings, yeah? I mean, our doors are beautiful. Our doors are beautiful. And uh, and it's about it's about keeping quality, keeping quality and, you know, and just keeping the customer, you know, happy. Here's some of our old ranges. Um, this is our first 2001 massive range. I think it was about... 120 cabins for this one so you know this is uh this is uh this is where we, this is our, our our beginning and what we were thinking and what we were offering anyway that's enough for tonight and i hope you've enjoyed this uh this little chat and uh, please look out for some more soon thank you bye bye